Joining us now is Sarah Weiss Moody, senior Israeli diplomat and legal advisor at the Israel Ministry of Foreign Affairs. She returned in August to Israel after a five-year posting at the UN in New York. Thank you very much for getting up in the middle of the night there uh, and, and joining us. Appreciate it. All right, so tell me what you have chronicled and what you said to the UN and what they've said back. Um, thank you, Dan, and, and good evening, viewers. Um, so basically, when any sort of atrocity would happen like this, the, the first thing that a country does and what Israel did is send a letter reporting and documenting these events, um, both first and foremost to the Security Council um, and also to any UN body that would have any relevance here. Um, now, you mentioned UN women, and clearly because there was a mass premeditated rape and gender-based crimes um, on a mass scale, we would obviously report that to a body like UN Women. So what we did, we went ahead um, and prepared letters like we usually do when there's a rocket that comes in from the north, from Hezbollah, or rockets that come in from, from Hamas. But here we also did something else. Um, Hamas was, was kind enough to share with us on, on the internet hundreds and thousands of video imagery of, of, of documentation. Um, and so besides drafting the normal letter to the Security Council to UN Women, um, we also went ahead, and I, I was on the team that worked on the drafting of these. Um, so Ambassador Erdogan, our ambassador at the UN, sent letters that not only wrote in words what had happened, but included graphic pictures and fo photo images. We warned them in the letter that these were going to be difficult to look at. And certainly UN Women, as, as you noted, um, which has a mandate to cover um, issues for all women and has been very vocal, I might add, um, which is a good thing um, when rape happens under ISIS or in the Ukrainian context. And if you look on their X, what used to be their Twitter feed, you will see this well documented. Um, the most amazing thing is that after getting um, a, a letter with many pictures that were thematically um, focused on women and girls and the atrocity crimes that happened to them, um, again, we're talking about crimes related to rape, to sexual violence, um, and just, I must say, having had to go through all those images, the only way I can describe them is really the pornography of violence. They were sort of like looking at pictures as a Jewish person of the Holocaust in technicolor. And that's sitting on the executive director on Seema Bahus's desk. Um, in fact, I, I just found out before we get on air that Ambassador Erdogan sent a follow-up letter because since we sent that first letter, um, much more evidence yeah. has come to light um, from various groups. So we wanted to make sure that she got the follow-up, including graphic testimony now from all the rescue workers who came to pick up the thousands of bodies that were strewn. I mean, the entire South, which is right now a ghost town, by the way, right. Um, so, all of the Israel's, the Israelis who live in those communities aren't there anymore. There's, these are communities smeared with blood. So, to, to be clear, you have not heard back from the UN, correct? Precisely. Right. And okay. if you go, but, we but have they heard have, nothing. And I, I will, but I will they have add one spoken thing. out about women and girls in Gaza, correct? Yeah. So that's that's what I just wanted to say. That if you go and look on their X feed, both the executive director's personal account and UN Women's official account. You will see nothing, zero, nothing mentioned about the rapes, the gender-based crimes that happened to women and girls. The only thing that I found on the UN official site were five words. I can read them to you. Um, they condemned, quote, attacks on civilians in Israel and the, the occupied Palestinian territories, as they call them. Yeah. Um, so those five words, I, I really, and that was on October 14th. You have to remember the massacre happened on October 7th. Yeah. Um, the executive director the day after actually blamed Israel for, quote unquote, an escalation. Um, yeah. Now, you have to understand, we were sitting in our homes celebrating our holiday. There, there was no escalation. Israel did not attack. Um, this attack yeah. was a surprise attack but, by terrorists. But I think the important thing, and I'm trying to stay focused here, and I've, I've, I've got to wrap this up, is the fact that you have yeah. chronicled it. And I saw some of what you sent, and I, you, it, it just stays with you. You will never forget it once you see the material that you sent. I, I have and not slept for the last month. I, once I, you see those pictures, you cannot sleep. I'm sure you haven't, because you're the one who had to actually chronicle it. All I had to do was read it. Um, and so I had for a you... And I, have, I had a, a, a children in the area visiting an aunt when this, these yeah. attacks happened. Um, I just, every night I go to sleep and I have in my mind, what if they had gone one village over? They were exactly one village yeah. away from where this happened. And, and it's just, it's outrageous. We live in an era 
of Me Too, of telling women we believe you. Um, you know, it's not the case of our, our grandmothers in the Holocaust that they had to live with a feeling of shame. I, it, it, it is just unbelievable. And the question is, why? Is it anti-Semitism? Or is there a sense that somehow it's justified well, and Israeli and Jewish lives don't matter? You and know what the reality used? is. The reality is the U.N. can't condemn Hamas because its members will get so angry in the political pressure, no matter what it is. This one's the best example, though. A, because it shows the hypocrisy. B, because you've chronicled it so significantly that makes it impossible for them to somehow weasel their way out of this. But there's, there's, there's no good answer to this, which is why we wanted you on the program. Thank you so much for getting up in the middle of the night to, to join us. And again, you know, thank you for all the hard work uh, that you're doing there. I know it must be absolutely awful. So thank you. Well, thank you for bringing this important story to fore because it needs to be told and it needs to be told loud and clear. Um, people need to know that in, in Israeli women need to know that they're believed. And 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 um, I, I thank you for bringing this piece to, to, the, to the front. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.